this is Carl Jurgensen, your champion. Carl Jurgensen is finally getting into a vehicle that he knows he can win in. It's going to be a really exciting year to watch. Kyle Jurgensen taking the number one spot. You got a driver like Kyle that just sent it. I'm looking forward to dominating. And it doesn't look like Kyle's holding back at all. He's got the formula down absolutely right. Jurgensen knows he doesn't have an inch to give. As long as the truck stays together and everything's good, I think you're going to see him like really biting on the ankles of the unlimited trucks. Knowing that, yeah, this is probably going to be on a podium. It's always going to be in the running during any race. He just knows where those limits are, and he also knows when he can just turn up the gas just another notch. I'm looking forward to proving to the competition that our truck's the best truck. Jason and I, have, we've been racing since the late 90s together, like tons of podiums and wins and all kinds of cool stuff. Our goal was to eventually get up to an unlimited truck. And uh, we started designing one in 07. And then at a certain point, we put Kyle Jurgensen in the truck, who's just a badass driver. He's young, he's fired up to kick ass. He's got a ton of experience. We have a story to tell here about our products and we want to win. And so getting Kyle in the truck, as you guys all see, we're putting him back in a truck that he's going to be able to win with. If you remember Kyle's last two races with us, he didn't just win, but he dominated two races in a row. So now we're on the world's best off-road tires with all that extra power. It's going to be really cool to see what Kyle does with this truck. I got a call from Jerry and he says, hey, you interested in driving Vegas Torino in our kinetic truck? And, you know, instantly a yes. Very excited, never driven it. I actually never really even talked to them before. We went testing. I'll be honest, I was skeptical the first time, you know, I'd never seen one of their trucks way up front. So I was like, well, is the suspension good? You know, is the power good? What have you guys been doing? I asked a lot of questions. He goes, just drive it, let me know what you think. It's okay, seems fair. Go out there. I was really impressed. So I'm like, cool, let's do this guys. And, so we went out to Vegas to Reno and we won qualifying. We got first place in qualifying. So right then the team and I were like, okay, these trucks are fast. We're feeling comfortable in it. And then we went out and we led the race the whole day, no issues, and we won. It was pretty much a textbook day. So we were feeling good at that point. And then we backed it up at Laughlin and got the win at Laughlin in that truck. And then we haven't raced with them since. They took a, a little break and I think we're gonna pick off right where we left off. After working with Kyle and those two events, we together decided that this truck is the best platform out there. So I, at that point, decided I'm going to stick with what I believe and move forward. And now, several years later, him coming back, I've made huge improvements on the truck from where we were then to where we are today. And I'm really looking forward working with him and developing the truck further. We have a lot of good ideas and we're both on the same page on fundamentally what this truck is and what makes it different than other cars. Cal has a history with Camber. He won two races, Vegas, Reno and Laughlin. And remember, he did that on 37 inch tires. The 2024 Unlimited Off-Road Racing Series is gonna be crazy to watch this year. So everyone knows Craig Hall, he's pretty much drawn everyone's race truck. Him and Jason have a great relationship because Jason's the genius behind the design and Craig's the genius behind the computer. You put those two guys together and you get Beethoven or Mozart when you get these trucks. It's cool knowing who's going to be, you know, driving what you're designing. Knowing when you have a top driver or, you know, even a top builder that's, you know, building those parts, it makes a difference. It's really cool knowing that those people are using my services, you know, in the past and now here in-house at Cambridge to do that for them. Jurgensen. We're in Johnson Valley at Alltech Motorsports' shock tuning garage here and we're doing our first testing session. So far moving in the right direction. They are revalving the front shocks right now and we're changing some gearing but so far first couple runs I think we're gonna be a force to be reckoned with. 
but we had a couple of good runs with the truck so far. Um, we brought it in right now to do a couple small valving changes on the uh, front shocks. And then we're um, switching the gear ratio on the underdrive to see what it's going to be like for a qualifying gear for the race. So um, it's a really good test session so far. We're making some good progress. We're really excited to see the next run. First test session was a success. Getting used to the new platform or new to me platform. Um, took a couple corners, but I uh, feeling pretty good. I kind of you kind of figure out where the body roll is going to stop and where the braking points are. We got our top speed that we want. We got our bottom end that we want. And most importantly, Wayne at Alltech kicked ass with the suspension. Feeling good. I think we have a, a good winning truck here and just in time because the Parker 400 is right around the corner. Uh, definitely some kinks to work out prior to going to the mid 400, correct? Yes. Sure do. <laughs> that is a confirmation on yes, we need to fix it up. So we get into the race, uh, you know, Kyle's first in class. So, you know, we're watching Kyle do his thing, end of the first lap, like, cool, we, you know, we got it on time. And then we're on the last lap and we're looking at the timing and we're like, we might be in the overall for this right now. Like, we're right there. Like, we're, we're just pumped. And then just when you get all excited, he's about a third of the way into the last lap and like doing his thing, boom, power steering pump's gone. As soon as something goes wrong like this, you know, this, it, I always have something in the back of my mind. When's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? Is this next pump going to fail? You know, and every second of every lap, I'm just on edge. We lost another pump. And that put us down for a long time. Uh, the spare pump that we had, this third pump, was actually a loaner from Kyle. So we had one spare and he brought one for us to use, which is a different brand. And it didn't fit in our brackets. And so he happened to be stopped next to one of the course workers who happened to have a Sawzall. I'm like, cut it, man, you know? So he ended up modifying the brackets, gets the pump in, and <laughs> the radiator fans completely locked up. So he would drive for four or five miles, let the car sit, drive it for four or five more miles, let the car sit, and just tried to limp it around to the finish. And as the time went on, the sun was going down. He had lost the one and only light bar we had on the truck. And Kyle had to drive with no radiator fans, no power steering, and no lights. And he managed to muscle it to the finish line. So that was pretty awesome that he's such a, a trooper and you know, so dedicated to the program. It's awesome. So after Parker, I got a long email from Kyle and, and he had suggested, well, we can't do the same thing. We need to make improvements and it's best to test in a race environment. So we had a meeting here at the shop and decided that we think we can make that happen to run the truck at Hammers as a test. Unless we're in a test in a race environment, 
we're just not testing as we should. We made major changes. And we also thought, well, heck, this would be a perfect opportunity for us to put some miles on our new calipers. We did a shakedown with the truck and let Kyle run it, and the steering seemed solid. Really got him hot, bedded the pads in, and he came back and he was like, these are really good. It was a really good opportunity going into the mint to test these, these parts out at Hammers, and we did a great job out there. We were able to win the race, so it's pretty awesome to have you know, the steering and the brakes both get through that, that event at the top of the podium. Well, we go into this race with like really no prep on the truck other than the steering system and putting our eyeballs, just changing a few obvious things, but we didn't prep the truck. And to be able to take the win, I mean, it shows what these trucks are capable of. It shows what our partner's products are capable of. And it shows what our driver's capable of, right? Because you can't just go full speed over it. You gotta save it, but go the speed he's going. We're going into the Mint 400, and the terrain is gnarly from start to finish. There's a couple small sections of fire road and a couple dry lake beds you get to zoom across. But at the end of the day, those holes are big. That place is really tore up. The rocks are massive. Everyone knows it. But it's a sprint race through the gnarliest stuff. It's going to mean a lot to win that one. It's our competitive nature, and we want to build the best parts. We don't want to fail. If we fail, we're just going to make it 10 times better and then come back swinging hard. Like we want to win. We want to have the best parts.